Hello babes, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are going to do a pick a card reading where we are going to be talking about what is their karma for humiliating you. So this is really great for those of you who are just really struggling, um, you know, maybe a past partner or a friend, um, you know, did something really harmful to you and it really embarrassed you, humiliated you, and you just need some, you know, clarification, some, uh, you know, relief and knowing that they kind of, you know, are getting what's coming to them. Um, and I just, I feel like these are very helpful. Um, I've had a lot of requests for these. I've done another karma video in the past and I keep getting requests. So I thought that we would go ahead and do another, um, just a little bit of a slightly different um, topic, right? So I have three different piles in front of me here today with lots of cards each. So we have a lot to go through and there will be timestamps down below whenever you're ready to go ahead and uh, jump to your reading, okay? So for pile number one, we have a clear quartz. Pile number two, we have a bloodstone. And then for pile number three, we have a green citrine. So what I want you to think about, especially if you're having trouble deciding on which crystal is really speaking to you, which one you feel like is really calling your name, what I want you to do is take a couple deep breaths and really meditate on the situation. Meditate on what happened between you two, um, you know, how they treated you, what the outcome of this relationship was, how it currently is, um, whether or not you're talking to this person or whatever is currently uh, going on. Just very much like meditate on this situation and that will guide you to which crystal uh, you should choose. Now, if in your you know, personal situation, it regards more than one person, then I would definitely say you can watch multiple readings. Like, um, if this was like a cheating situation with two people that you know, and you feel like, you know, the bloodstone and the quartz represent that, you could definitely watch both. Um, if like one crystal kind of reminds you of that other person. So let's go ahead and take a nice, good deep breath. And I will give you all, um, a little bit of time just to, uh, you know, meditate on which crystal is speaking to you. So. Welcome back, pile number one. So that's if you chose this piece of clear quartz. And before I jump into our reading, I just wanted to remind you all to please hit that subscription button down below. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, or you're interested in any intention candles or handmade soap, please check out my description for my email and my Etsy is linked below and you all get a discount. Okay, so let's look at what their karma is, what is going on with them, what are they currently going through. Okay, so we have uh, Nine of Pentacles Reverse, uh, Ten of Wands Reverse, uh, King of Pentacles Reverse, lots of reversals today, interesting. Okay, a win-win outcome is Forecast, Jack-O-Lantern Protection, 
bathroom, flush away what no longer serves you, and Saturn truth. Okay. So, <clears throat> what I'm feeling for you, just right off the bat, just kind of glancing at your cards, I feel like right now you and this person are in the thick of it. You two haven't fully like walked your separate ways. You two are still um, in communication. Um, you know, if you are like in a relationship with this person and maybe you live together or if you have children and, you know, of course, like both parents need to see children. Um, you know, I feel like that you are right in the thick of this situation. And so I feel like it happened fairly recently for you. And so you haven't really had very much time to process it. You're feeling still just very like angry about it because um, we're seeing cards that, uh, you know, represent that an outcome in both ways may benefit. Um, but I definitely see, you know, that you are still in like the thick of the situation in the very like hard, frustrating part of this. So it's not quite over for you yet. Um, but definitely what I see with uh, Nine of Pentacles reversed, I feel like that you've been able to let this person go. And that's what is, I feel like, frustrating for you because you're not able to walk away, but you know that you don't want this person in your life anymore. So you're not able to fully like walk away right now. Like I said, if you have children with this person or if you like are married and have to get divorced or whatever the situation may be, um, you know, you're not fully able to walk away. And I feel like that's why this is so frustrating for you because you know you want to walk away. You're done. Um, you know, messing around with this person, you're done allowing them to hurt you and be in your life. So, you know, I really do see that as being frustrating and very hard for you because you know that you are ready to be, um, pardon me, you know you're ready to be done, frankly. And with uh, Ten of Wands reversed, I feel as if, um, you know, the fact that you haven't been able to walk away, the fact that this person is doing this makes you feel very unprotected. And so, you know, I see that, you know, this is very harmful to you. This is very much hurting you. But, you know, with their karma and what they are, you know, currently going through, I definitely see this person as being under um, attack from somebody. Um, you know, I feel like for them, in a way, it's under like some sort of like uh, like psychic attack, the evil eye. And it's definitely, you know, from like people around you, I feel like people around you are hurt that this person did this to you, you know, probably like friends, your mother, um, you know, if this isn't your partner, maybe your partner is angry. Um, you know, I feel like this person is having a lot of bad luck. You know, I see that they are not faring well, they are going through a lot right now. And it's just because, um, you know, they're definitely struggling with having people, um, you know, put that evil eye on them. So they're very much struggling uh, in that department. So, you know, like I said, they may be having bad luck, like, um, you know, maybe they're out and about and they drop their wallet and can't find it, lost their phone, lost their keys, uh, maybe getting in trouble at work, things like that. I feel like they are definitely uh, struggling in that way. Okay, and so I, like I said, I do feel like your person is definitely under like a lot of, um, you know, just like psychic attack. Um, I feel like a lot of people are being very rude to them. So, you know, even small things that maybe don't seem like a huge deal, but it does add a lot of frustration to your daily life and a lot of aggravation. I feel like that they are, you know, probably going into stores and uh, people are being rude to them. Maybe their boss is being rude to them at work. Uh, their friends are ditching them, not wanting to hang out with them. And so, you know, I do see that they are having a lot of small things happen to them, but that really does build up to a lot of frustration. So they are feeling, you know, a lot of frustration on their behalf, um, a lot of hurt feelings and, you know, just like overall bad luck. I definitely see that person as having a lot of bad luck on their end. Um, but I feel like for you, you really needed that truth to come out because I do feel like this person was, you know, hiding something for a while from you. I feel like they were being not right to you, not fair. And, you know, depending on the level of that, you know, it really depends on your personal situation. I feel like that, you know, that really added a lot of damage to this relationship. You know, maybe they were 
sleeping with somebody else or lying about money or something like that but I feel like it added so much damage to you and damage to this relationship that you know you you really needed to hear that truth in order for you to move on because you are feeling very much unprotected you're feeling very open like you just don't have anywhere to turn so that's very frustrating for you especially if this person was like your rock for a long time and this person was uh very supportive and good to you i feel like this person just got kind of um you know wrapped up in themselves wrapped up in their own problems and were you know was being selfish unfortunately but you know i do see that for both of you this is going to be a win-win outcome um, you know, and as frustrating as that may seem for you, I do feel like in the end it will be better and we will definitely talk about that more. Um, in regards to you, you know, having a family or whatever the situation may be, like if you have to split your possessions in your home or something like that, um, I see that as being beneficial because, again, I do feel like this person isn't necessarily a bad person. I feel like they just got caught up with... You know, maybe the wrong person, maybe they had friends kind of, you know, convincing them to do things or they just got caught up in their own drama and they weren't able to pull themselves out of it in order to save your relationship. But I feel like for you, you are going to be able to come out of this situation with uh, protection and love and, you know, a stronger overall sense of well-being. And then this person is being going to be able to, you know, kind of like walk away and be a better person down the line. And as frustrating as that can be, um, you know, right now they are going through it. They are having, you know, that bad luck. They're, um, like I said, losing things because uh, they're having that evil eye placed on them. And so I feel like with you personally, like the evil eye and bad luck and if, you know, someone were to put like a jinx on this person or anything like that, I feel as if, you know, the crime matches the punishment, right? So depending on what this person did, and of course, if you are in a very severe situation where you may be hurt or something like that, or you're in danger, please get help outside of this. Like, don't just rely on this. But, you know, I feel like for many of you, this person did something wrong and you know, the crime is matching the punishment. They're definitely, you know, going through what they put you through. The, you know, if they maybe stole money from you out of your wallet or purse or whatever you carry, um, you know, then in turn they're losing their wallet or they lost some money um, or, you know, lost their debit card and somebody spent some money on it, you know, something like that. So, you know, I definitely feel like an overall positive outcome is coming for both of you um, and that makes it for you. So you're able to, uh, walk away from the situation and allow um, yourself to flush away all these regrets to get rid of uh, this person get rid of this you know bad situation and you're able to walk away from what no longer serves you and that's okay right uh, so you know I do see it as both of you having a positive outcome but this person definitely is going to go through some things and um, I feel like until everything is revealed the full extent of, um, you know, their lying or whatever their situation was, their cheating, I feel like that they are going to continue to go through it because I still feel like they're not being 100% truthful. Uh, but I do see that you have heard some truths and it's been things that have hurt you, but it's not, you know, you're not fully out of the word work. You're still working your way through this. But again, as you continue to hear these truths and as you learn to separate from this person and be able to walk away and live your own life, I do see that you are going to give yourself your own protection. You're going to be guarding your own heart and you're going to make sure that, you know, no one else hurts you this way. You're going to be able to block out that negativity and you're not going to allow, um, you know, anyone else to hurt you this way. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number two. So that's if you chose this bloodstone. And before we jump into our reading, I just wanted to remind you all who are new around here to please hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you're interested in any uh, spell work, intention candles, please check out my Etsy link down below, as well as my email if you're interested in any personal readings. So let's go ahead and see what is this person's karma for humiliating you? What are they currently going through? Okay, so we have Five of Swords reversed. We have the Magician. Okay. 
Uh, Page of Swords. Oh, they're definitely going through some situation. Okay. And we have the Two of Wands. Have faith in your dreams. Midnight, the most magical hour of all. Guide, follow the footprints of greatness. And fifth house, creativity. Okay, so let's definitely look at your tarot first, and then we will come back to our oracles as well. So right off the bat with uh, five of swords, I feel like this person really... Uh, five of Swords reverse. Um, I feel like this person definitely thought that they were being sneaky and they feel as if they can continue to be sneaky. So whether or not you are completely like out of the woodwork with the situation, maybe you still have to deal with this person or see them. I feel like they still think that they're pulling one over on you. And, um, you know, maybe if this was like a relationship that you're breaking up or getting divorced, um, I feel like this person is still being very dishonest about their life and they haven't fully learned from their mistakes um because they're still you know fibbing and lying and um you know doing things that aren't the best so you know i see that this person still hasn't learned from their mistakes uh but i do feel like they will because i feel like they have somebody in their life that is pulling the wool over their eyes they have a snake in their midst they have somebody who is lying to them about what they can do for them, lying to them about something. So if this is in terms of like a job, maybe they have somebody scamming them within a job. Um, you know, maybe they're getting involved with a company that is a scam. Um, maybe they're dating somebody who is trying to scam them. It all depends on your personal situation, of course. Uh, but, you know, I feel like this person is getting scammed by someone and they don't even know it. So, you know, it could be somebody that they're dating who maybe is like stealing money or just taking advantage overall. But I feel like this person is definitely, you know, getting um, scammed a little bit. They're getting that wool pulled over their eyes and they don't even realize it because they think that they're still slick. So, you know, this person, whoever this is that is scamming them, they are very good at making um you know your person feel good about themselves so that's why your person is still not fully um aware you know i feel like they have an inkling but they are not the kind of person to um they're not really the type of person to admit when they're wrong so they're not fully to admit it yet fully ready to admit it but i do feel like this person definitely has somebody pulling the wool over their eyes in one way, shape, or another. You know, maybe they're getting involved, um, like I said, with a scam company, like an MLM kind of situation where they're having to pay a bunch of money and they're not making any money. Um, you know, I feel like this person is definitely getting scammed. I feel like they are definitely going through it. They're just not ready to admit that they're wrong. And with um, Page of Swords, you know, I definitely see this person as... Um, under a lot of stress, but I'm feeling like this person does have some, either like a lot of fire or a lot of air in their chart where they're kind of like a bragging type of person. They like to show off. They like to wear really nice clothes and show off about the clothes they have. They like to do that type of thing. So I feel like this person is not, um, you know, they're not going to admit when they're wrong. And, you know, unfortunately, some people never admit when they're wrong, even when they're really going through some hard stuff. So, you know, I feel like this person is definitely not fully ready to admit that they're wrong, but I feel like they will. But they are under a lot of stress. You know, they see that they're losing money. Um, you know, maybe they're on the brink of losing something like their car or their home because they are just handing money out left and right. I feel like whoever this person is, this magician, I feel like they're so good at pulling the wool over this person's eyes and they are not... Um, you know, they're not ready to admit that they got a problem, that someone is uh, scamming them out of some money. So, you know, I see this person, again, still bragging, being that type of person that just doesn't want to admit that they're wrong. But I really do feel like they are going through some stressful times, you know, behind the scenes. They are um, struggling, you know, they are not paying their bills and, you know, they may get evicted or something like that. And with uh, two of wands... 
I feel like as we're seeing, um, even in the artwork of the card, we can see, you know, the bird sitting on top of, you know, this glass and it's slowly breaking. Your person is at the verge of losing something important. You know, like I said, maybe they're losing their car, their home, um, you know, they're maxing out on their credit card bills, paying this person. Uh, they are, you know, they're very much at their wits end, but they are such that type of person. They have that big, um, like fire energy along mixed with that, like air energy I'm feeling like. And we do see like negative signs, of course, of every zodiac. So that's not to call out you air or fire sign. But, you know, everybody does have that negative side of themselves. But I feel like they are taking that to like an extreme. You know, we see that they just cannot admit when they're wrong. They um, have to live up that lifestyle that they got it going on, that they got money, that they, um, you know, they're out here going to clubs and things like that. So, you know, I feel like this person is definitely like falling under that weight. I feel like they are wasting so much money. People are scamming them and because they don't want to lose like these friends or maybe like this hot girlfriend or something that's scamming them, I feel like they're just not ready to admit it. And um, they don't want to show you that they're struggling because they, you know, deep down they know that they hurt you and they know that they did something wrong, um, but they don't want to show you you that you're right because that's just how this person is okay and next let's look at midnight the most magical hour of all so I feel like that there is going to be for you especially like a big aha moment you are going to see this person's fall and I feel like it's going to be public I feel like you are going to maybe see like on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, that this person um, went through a fall. You know, they may post something in the future saying, you know, I lost my car, I lost my home, um, whatever that situation may be, they lost something. So I feel like this person is, you know, their fall, their fall from grace is definitely going to be public and you're going to know about it. And that's going to give you some relief because this person hurt you really badly. They did something really dirty and harmful. And so that is, you know, making you want to walk away from this person. It's making you want to not feel bad if they're going through a struggle, you know, which I definitely uh, don't blame you in that. So they are just, you know, they are going to go through it and you're going to see it. And because of that and that relief that, um, you know, it's not just you going through a hard time and that you're having a hard time of letting go and just letting go of that frustration in general. Um, that's going to rebound your life and that's going to make you feel a lot better. And, um, you know, next we're looking at guide follow in the footprints of greatness. So I feel like that you being able to have that release, you being able to fully like let go of this situation and let go of this person and not think about it anymore that's going to revamp you and that's going to bring back your life because I'm feeling like that you for a long time have been very focused on this person very focused on the fact that you're hurting and it seems like they're having this great life, but behind the scenes, they're really not. So, you know, I feel like that that's something that's been very hard for you and you have struggled with that. But, you know, I feel like for you, you just need to um, wait for this magical moment. You know, I feel like it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be really um, at an odd, off kilter time. But I do think that you are going to see this person's downfall and it's going to help rebound you. And, you know, again, for you personally, uh, to be able to get through this and be able to, um, you know, walk away from this situation and follow your footsteps and do well and, um, you know, make a better life for yourself, I feel like you just need to focus on your creativity. Um, you know, if you like to paint or draw or write or cook, whatever you enjoy doing, even if it is just reading, um, you know, listening to music and dancing, whatever you do that, in, you know, makes you feel happy and makes you feel at home within yourself, do that. And that's going to help you not focus on this person. So definitely, you know, be creative within yourself, allow yourself time to write and journal and, um, you know, be grateful for the things you have because you know that this person is, um, you know, not receiving blessings anymore. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, you deserve that. And lastly, we have, have faith in your dreams. So 
you know, again, just remember that whatever dreams you have, they can happen. And now that you are not with someone who is toxic, somebody who is hurtful and doesn't care how you feel and doesn't care about hurting you, um, you know, I feel like it's important for you to do what you want in life. You know, maybe you gave up some things to be with this person. You gave up parts of your life and you don't have to do that anymore. You know, you have uh, this newfound freedom to do what you want in your life and do what's going to make you happy. So, you know, don't let this person make you feel like you have to stay where you are, that you have to stay in this lane that you're going in. You are able to grow and grow out of this situation in order to be happy and in order to free yourself um, from things that no longer serve you. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number three. So that's if you chose this piece of green citrine. So before I jump into our reading, I just wanted to remind you all to please hit that subscription button down below if you're new around here. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, or if you're interested in any um, candles or spell work, please check out my Etsy down below. You all get a discount. Okay, so let's see what is going on with this person. What is their karma for hurting you? What are they currently going through? Okay, so we have King of Cups. Uh, we have the Hanged Man Reverse. And we have a Page of Pentacles. Your, your hard work is paying off. Spider, Community, and Web Weaving. Music, Sing the Song of Your Soul and Dance to Your Unique Rhythm. And Tenth House, The World. Okay. So let's look at our tarot first, and then we will definitely uh, come back to our oracles. So right off the bat, I'm feeling like your person is, um, I feel like that they, in their mind, they are envisioning that things are going well for them, um, especially with the hangman reverse. This person is, uh, you know, very adamant that things are going in a positive direction, and um, a lot of times, like, I feel like this person is not listening to like their heart of hearts of what they actually did and what they are currently going through. But on that outside, I feel like this person is very good at acting like nothing is wrong. They seem very confident. And, you know, that can be very frustrating for you, especially if you have to see them, you know, on social media or if you have to see this person um, in person, actually. Um, you know, that can be very frustrating because you know, they did something really horrible to you. So you feel aggravated about what's going on. But you know, I definitely feel like this person is, um, they are putting it out there that they are going through something really great, right? But I do see this person um, having a lot of like confusion in their life. And I feel like they are very much struggling in that department. They don't really know what to do next. They don't know where to go. Um, and I feel like they are trying to cope with that through things that are, you know, negative. Um, if they're like very heavily drinking, um, maybe doing drugs, things like that. So I feel like this person is definitely um, feeling kind of confused about what to do. You know, they are, they're not able to think clearly. They're making mistakes at work. They're, um, you know, their friends probably really don't want to see them, you know, things like that. I feel like they are struggling in that department and just even really small things seem like a big struggle for them. Um, you know, getting up and getting dressed for the day just is so incredibly exhausting. They, um, everything just seems like a big chore and I feel like other people are starting to see that and they're feeling kind of aggravated by it. You know, other people are seeing, okay, like, I don't really like being around them because everything has to be a big ordeal. Like everything just seems very frustrating and confusing. Like they can't make simple decisions, things like that. So I feel like they're very much struggling internally and that's because they're not able to come out and say what they did wrong. They're not able to um, be like an adult and admit what they did wrong and make amends and say sorry. So in turn, they're like struggling internally and they are, 
you know, having a hard time doing very simple things. Um, and I feel like that, that for them, that's just like a blockage, you know, and, um, you know, they're just really struggling with that. And, you know, I see like also that there is somebody in their life who is also making things complicated. You know, maybe they're dating someone else and they're arguing. So they're in this very like vicious circle of not having any rest and also struggling within themselves. Um, you know, I just feel like there's a lot of confusion for them and they're definitely covering it up on social media. You know, they're definitely um, not being fully honest with, you know, other people and themselves about what they're going through. You know, I do see this person as very much struggling in that department. So, and again, I do see, you know, that they're dating somebody, maybe they have someone on the side that they um, maybe like to brag about or show off, but I feel like them and that person are not really getting along very well. So I do see that as being frustrating for you. And also, like, I feel like a lot of their frustration is because you're doing a lot better. You know, we see that your hard work is paying off. So I feel like this person is very much struggling because they, you know, maybe they wanted to walk away from this situation with you because they just felt like they were unhappy or whatever the situation was, they were being selfish and they weren't expecting you to come out on top. And so I feel like for them, it's very hard for them to grasp on the fact that you're doing so well and that they're struggling because they thought it was going to be the other way around. They thought they were going to be on top of the world, that they were going to be doing uh, great things. And it's really you. So I feel like, you know, you are doing a great job. You are moving past the situation. You are able to, you know, leave this person alone. And that's very frustrating for them. And it's even more frustrating, like I said, because they are dating someone who is argumentative. They're not getting along. Um, and that's just, that's, it's very like confusing and frustrating for them because now they feel like they made a mistake when, you know, unless you chose to ever get back with this person, I feel like for them it's too late. So they know that they've really, you know, effed up and made some mistakes and they're really struggling with that. And for you, definitely, you know, we see spider community and web weaving. I feel like you're doing a great job. So I feel like for some of you, you know, maybe you've started a new business or you've started a job and you're just really kicking butt. You're doing great. Um, you know, you're making all these new connections and new friends. Uh, maybe you've even started dating somebody else who is adding a lot of benefit to your life. And so that is why this person is so frustrated because you're doing so well and they thought it was going to be them doing well. I, you know, definitely. Definitely, I feel like it's just frustrating for them. Um, and then we have music. Sing the song of your soul and dance to your unique rhythm. Um, you know, continue to do you because you are doing great. You don't even have to think about this person because they, you know, they did something wrong to you and they're definitely paying for it. They are um, not getting in with their friends. You know, uh, maybe their friends don't like their new partner. Um you know, they're definitely going through it and they're losing out on situations. They're losing out on a lot of happiness. And, you know, it's frankly because of what they did to you. And lastly, we have 10th house, the world. So I definitely see, um, you know, the world is in your hands. The world is your oyster. You know, you definitely have what it takes to do something great and you're able to walk away from this situation. So I feel like you know, this person definitely thought that they were hurting you, that they were, um, you know, that they were going to walk away from the situation and be much happier. But I see that you're the one that's happier. You're the one that is doing well. You're the one that is thriving and, um, you know, just doing really well in life. So, you know, be proud of yourself. Be proud that you're not letting this situation tear you down and be unhappy and that you are able to move on and be a happier person. While this person is just definitely, you know, frankly, falling behind and in not a great relationship and they're just not happy. So I definitely see you as doing really well and just, you know, continue to work on that and continue to do even better. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.